Okay, so I'm going to do this positioning assignment, um, and you can follow along step by step and set yours up in case you're having trouble figuring it out. Um, so I've got the first picture on the page here, and I'm just going to go ahead and lay out my HTML first. Um, I have a skeleton set up here. So I noticed that I have this strip up here. That's probably going to be a header. This strip down here is probably going to be a footer. Um, I've got this piece in the middle. Um, this little blue guy that's peeking through is actually a div that's wrapped around these guys, so it's containing them. So I'm going to have a div with these other two divs inside. So let's go set that up right now. Okay, so the first thing I want is the header. And I'm just going to put an H1 in there. It says it's page header. Okay. And then I'm going to want a div um, that is sort of a wrapper for the whole thing. So let's do that. I'm going to give it the ID content. Um, oops. I'm going to wrap that around my other two divs. And so the first one I'm going to call one. And the second one I'm going to call two. Oops. Okay. So I've got these divs. And then if I go back and look at my document here, I've got a footer at the bottom. So I'm going to need a footer uh, for that guy. And so I'm going to make one at the bottom of the page. Let's put it here. Footer. I'm just going to say this is the page footer. So I've got all this stuff. Um, now there's one thing missing, which is that my divs have a lot of text. In fact, I need them to have enough text so that this business will scroll so I can check to see if it's working because you'll see this note that the content in the middle scrolls behind the header and footer, and I want that to happen. So I'm going to go and grab some. Actually, let me put these little H1s in first. So first one says, oops. this is the, what does it say, div1. I'm going to put one in this guy. So this is div2. Okay, um, so I'm going to go grab some dummy text off the dummy text website, and I need enough to scroll my whole page, so I'm going to increase this um, amount of words here to like, let's say a thousand, and I'm going to increase my paragraphs to let's say nine, we'll see, that, that'll probably be fine, um, and I would like it to display the p tags for me so I don't have to hand code those in, and so I check this little box, and I'm going to select all, copy to clipboard, now I've got a copy of it, so I'm going to go and just put that text inside my two divs. So here is the first one, and here is the second one. Okay, and let's see what that looks like so far. Bam. Okay, so I've got all my pieces. Yes, they're all there. Um, they're not styled at all, so I will have to deal with that um, in a minute. Okay, so first thing I want to do is make a style sheet. I've got one set up over here. It's completely blank, and I want to style my different pieces. So um, let's take care of the, the quick and easy stuff first. So I've got this body um, background showing through on these two guys, this light green. So let me set that color, um, background color. And the code for that is V8F2E0. Okay. So that's going to shine through the page. Let's make sure that worked. Oh, right. I didn't connect it. Duh. Okay. So let's go back to my HTML and go up to the top and link this sucker in. Link the style sheet. And the page is style1.css. And my type is text.css. And I'll close my little slash off. Okay. Let's see if this guy updated. Yeah, so I got my light green in the background there. Okay, cool. Um, let's go ahead and just set colors on everything else so that we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to make the header be, um, just copy this, so I don't keep typing it. So the header is going to be background color F670, 70. Okay, and the footer is going to be background color uh, 87E7CA. I read these on a piece of paper in case you're wondering. I'm not coming up with them out of my head. Um, the content div, which is the blue piece, is going to have background color 87C5E7. And the content div with ID 1 is going to have background color 
9e, 8e7, and a div with, oh, the div with id2. It's going to have background color e7, 8e7, e2. Let's just check and verify that the colors look right. Yeah, so I got a pinkish, purplish, pinkish. Um, this guy looks wrong, so let's double check the content div. Oops. Content. Mm -hmm. 87 C5 E7. There we go. Alright, now it's pretty sweet. Okay. So I need to start positioning this stuff um, so that it works out right. Um, so I'm actually going to do the middle first, and so I've got these two guys, and you'll notice that this guy floats to the left and this guy floats to the right um, inside their container, which is the blue piece. So let's mess with div 1 first. Okay, so it's pretty skinny, um, so I'm going to set its width to, let's say, 20%, and I'm going to make it float left. So let's see what that looks like right now. Yeah, so it's pretty skinny and it's floating left, but now pink is taking up the whole area, which we don't want. So let's go into two and make this guy's width 75%. Um, when I choose these percentages, I don't want them to actually add up to quite 100 because um, I want a little bit of wiggle room in there. So I want to get close to, but not exactly 100, especially because I want to leave that gap in the middle. So I'm going to make this guy float right. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so here is my left, here's my right. They look kind of like they're in the right place, except you'll notice I lost my blue and my footer is suddenly riding up in between them, which is kind of weird. Um, so let's go into content and mess with that. So the first thing is that um, this whole thing is not taking up the whole page. It's just here in the middle and it's showing through the background on, on both sides. So let's change the width of this guy to like 80%. And then these guys will take up 20% and 75% of this amount and not of the page. So they will shrink down automatically as well. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, they're taking up less space already. That's good. Okay. And now the next thing I need to do is I want to center it. So I'm going to write margin auto, which if you have a div, um, that will knock it over to the center automatically. So now these guys are in the middle of the page, but I still have this problem with the footer. Um, so let's see here. Um, in that article that I asked you to read about floats, it said the last question was about the four ways that you can make um, containers sort of fit their content. And one of the techniques is to write overflow hidden here. So let's see if that works in this case. Bam, yes it does. So here's my blue. Um, this guy's not as skinny, so his text ends up ending sooner and my purple continues down. So that looks close to what I've got here with some gap. Um, I think I just have less text in this example, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's mess with these guys. Let's go for this page header. Um, so this note here says that the content in the middle scrolls behind the header and footer. That means that these guys must have fixed positioning. So let's go in and mess with the header first. So I'm gonna make the position fixed and I'm going to um, want it to stretch across the entire page. If you notice, it goes from the edge to edge. So I'm going to make the left and the right zero. And I actually want it to have um, no gap at the top of the page either. So I'm going to make the top zero as well. And then in try, instead of trying to guess the bottom um, based on the size of the window, I'm just going to specify a height for this thing. And I'm going to say it's 100 pixels. So let's see what we've got now. Okay, so this guy's here. Um, this stuff is kind of hidden when I haven't scrolled yet. It is scrolling behind it, which is what I want, which is awesome. But I am not seeing the top ever, so I'm going to need to smoosh this stuff down on the page a little bit so I can see it when I first begin. So let's go to the content here and mess with its uh, mar margin top. And I am going to make it be 100 pixels, which is the height of this other guy. So that should knock it down far enough that I can always see it. Yeah, so here I am. I can see the tops of these guys. They still scroll underneath the heading. Um, so that's cool. Okay. So last piece, the footer. Okay. Also should have this stuff scrolling behind it. So I know that my need my position. Where did it go? My position on my footer to be fixed. And what else? I need to stretch it across the page. So I'm going to make the left zero and the right zero. 
and I want it to touch the bottom of the thing, so I'll make the bottom zero. And then, let's see, it's about the same um, size as this guy, so I know the height should probably be 100 pixels again, so let's do that. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So here we go. I've got my bar across the top. Is that the right color? No, I've typed the wrong color there too. I'll fix that in a second. So there is my text. It scrolls. Um, it does hide this guy when I get to the bottom, so maybe I'll mess with the margin bottom of that thing too. So that was the content. Let's also make the margin bottom. So let's see. Can I see it now when I get down there? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, so let me fix this color on my footer. What was the color supposed to be? Let me check my notes here. Do, do, do. H7. I don't know why I keep typing threes for E's. E7CA. Let's see if this guy looks right now. Bam. Yes, it does. Okay. So that's page one. All set and done. This middle stuff scrolls. The outer stuff does not. Okay.